Hello ladies and gentlemen, you may know me as the Grimm's List or the Grim Reaper. Today we're going to be talking about Taro the Zoophile. Now this is going to be specifically about Taro. No other Zoophile will be exactly involved unless if I decide to put him in there. But I do have to say the Taro is one of the most dangerous Zoophile I can think of. As far as I gotta say. He's almost like another version of Sappho. Except he hasn't groomed children. But he has admitted to actually having intercourse with his own dog. Yes, he has DM'd me that he had intercourse with his own dog. Which I've made a YouTube video about him a while back. Now you may be asking me, why do I think he's one of the worst zoophile of all of them? Well, he's actually been proven to be a mass flagger time and time again, which I can literally show you as we speak. So as you can see, he's been flagging my Twitter account because I've been calling him out and calling other zoophile out. And he has literally tried to do everything in his power to remove me off the platform. Now if this isn't enough for you to think. Okay he may be a piece of crap. But he's not the worst zoophile. Again there's more reasons to it than that. Another reason he is actually pretty dangerous. Is that he makes actual zoophile magazine. Yes actual zoophile magazine. And has also been working with the Zuyer and Doe podcast. Which in case you haven't noticed, I've literally talked to it from my other YouTube video about him before. About Zuyer and Doe and how ugly his voice is. And he sounds like a, a bitch. Let's be real here. Anyways, so basically he will make a magazine trying to influence people in thinking it's okay to basically... She didn't have to say the words, but we already can get through it and already understand what I'm going to say. And basically, he makes magazine to basically get everyone involved to basically think it's okay to have intercourse with your own pets. So I know I've shown Taro and my DMs between me and him. But I wanted to show this again and reread it again to clarify so at least I feel like I'm not just saying something without any proof that he has actually mate with his own dog. Prison is open for you to lock yourself up. I'm good. Why are you defending the idea of having sex with animals? Dumb truck. Because I believe in it. You need therapy. I've gotten therapy. I think everyone should try it at some point. Being a zoophile is not justified and having sexual attraction can also turn into action. Dumbass. Oh, I do action. I've got a long-term canine partner. Yeah, I take it back. You should just be in prison. Sorry you feel that way, but I get it. Zoos have a bad rep right now. I hope in the future you change your mind or you become willing to talk about it with a smiley face. Go to hell. This is also the magazine that Taro is working on. Basically, he literally makes sure that he creates magazine about Zoophile. And if you don't believe me, read this description. An open letter from a zoosexual to whomever this concern. Hi, my name is Taro. That's not my real name, but it's the one that I choose to use online. I have two very loving parents, a couple of sibling, friends, and even a best friend. I'm also lucky enough to have met someone that I absolutely love. I haven't known him for that long. A few years at this point, but I can tell that he's amazing. He loves to have fun, to play, to just run around and go for it. He can always make me smile no matter how badly my day is going. 
and is always willing to stay by my side when I need him for as long as I need him. I want to spend the rest of my life with him. Now let's hope that he's not talking about his dog. Let's really hope not, right? He also happens to be a canine. This is literally what a canine is referred as. It's literally a dog. So this is basically him stating that he's in a relationship with a dog. Let's hope it can't get any worse than this, right? A lot of people find that weird that I could be in love with a dog. But I want to assure you that it's not as weird as you think. Honestly, if you really got to know us, I think you'd probably find it pretty disappointingly normal. <laughs> You serious? Taro, that is the most stupid thing you've said. You said a lot of stupid crap and I is one of the dumbest. How were you such a good writer and this stupid? And let me be very crystal clear to Taro. Humans and dog are not the same species. Get that for your thick skull. Also, Taro, you remind me of a snake because you try to act like you're slick, but in reality, we can all see through you that you're just a stupid scumbag trying to go out and try to get what you want. You don't actually love your dog. If you loved your dog, you wouldn't be raping it. Did I hurt your feelings, Taro? Because that is the truth. If you actually have intercourse with your dog, that is literally raping, and that is the truth. You can't argue with biology, and you also can't argue with the fact that they are different species than us. Anyways, let's continue reading his dumb takes. We do all the same things that normal couples do. We hang out and watch movies together. We go on dates. We celebrate each other when something goes right. We comfort each other when something goes wrong. And yes, we do also engage in other adult orientation activity but by no means it that the assumption of our relationship i think that's something that a lot of people don't understand i'd like to think that in a relationship you aren't just with your partner for sex either holy hell why is this guy not in prison right now he should be in freaking jail but every time twitter there's nothing. I try to report everything. I try to make sure that everything's done correctly. This is against the law, man. Like, literally, the dude keeps going. I'm writing to you because I wanted to talk about who I am. I know that in society, people that want to have a relationship with animals, often known as zoophile or zoosexual, are seen as bad people. Because they are. But that's not even close to the full story. There are people that hurt animals for their own sadistic reason. But that's not us. Honestly, Taro should be in prison for life. I know I've said it multiple times, but I don't know what is going on. Nothing's happening with this dude. This dude's getting away with all this crap. What, are they going to try to make it legal now? We care about animals. We see our partner not as pets or as any kind of inferior creature. We see our partner as people, sentient creature capable of making their own decision. We strive to give our partner the autonomy that our society cruelly denies them. And it's not just our partner that we care about. A majority of zoos are vegan because they choose not to support an industry that harms animals of the ones that aren't vegan. A majority of them tend to be on lower meat content diet or try and source meat from farm that are run more ethically. Most Jews are also heavily involved in the animal rights movement as well. 
Anyways, there's much more for you to read if you want to see how dumb his takes are and basically how much of a piece of crap of human garbage he is. But I'm getting tired of reading an entire thread of him basically justifying having intercourse, basically being in a relationship with a dog. It's just completely stupid and ridiculous. Also, I've made multiple YouTube videos about Zoophile, in which a lot of Zoophile got really mad at me for making it. Obviously, I can tell that it got under their skin, since they're responding like this. I've seen a lot of stupid antis, but I think this one is the dumbest. They are up there for sure. Did you see their new video? We are both mentioned, Lymphio. I tried watching just because I hate myself and I love attention, but it's so hard when he just reads tweets word for word at this speed. Also, I have to say that you have a nice voice. I'll admit that I have a slow voice. I, I can't lie about that. I'm not the fastest reader on the planet. But at least I don't sound cringe like Taro. And I don't stutter as much as Taro. Out of curiosity, I watched the video and bruh, audacity to make fun of your voice, a way of talking while he takes uh, decades between words. He clearly doesn't know any debate logic and just say zoo bad because I said so. Uh-oh, retard alert! Retard alert, class! I've had to block him recently, but I took a look at the video to see if I had anything of substance. There's not. His logic is, it's illegal in my country, so you are a bad person. And that consent is rape. Now, apparently, screenshot from the video. He the same mother effer who thinks he's gonna expose all of us to his 80-something subscriber. He's got comment censored too, so only he is able to accept comment he agrees with. He seriously tries to argue that because it's illegal in his country, that's why it's inherently bad. There's no critical thinking in his vids at all. To be honest, let me just correct one thing on that part. I didn't actually censor the comments. In fact, strangely, YouTube censored it itself, which sometimes YouTube is kind of weird when it comes to this type of stuff. Although I try to uncensor it most of the time to see some of their dumb takes because I want to see how dumb their logic is. But anyways, sometimes YouTube won't accept anyone's dumb logic of theirs because they're against pro contact zoo file and it is against the TOS in YouTube. Anyways, like, subscribe for more and if you don't, Taro is going to try to deplatform you. Love y'all and peace out.